But hi there. In my latest book, Intercessors Ascend, The Mandate, The Posture for Kingdom Purpose, I talk about mainly the characteristics of an intercessor. And in chapter 7, I zoom in on the mindset of an intercessor. And I use a key scripture, one of the key scriptures found in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, where Paul, the apostle, writes to his spiritual son, Timothy, and tells him that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I zoom in on the importance of having a sound mind as an intercessor. A sound mind functions as a command center where the thoughts are. And thoughts can be so powerful that they govern our life and, of course, our behavior. Our thoughts become actions. And so it is very imperative that in these days an intercessor allows the Word of God and the Holy Spirit to govern their thought life. Because of all that's going on in this world, there are so many voices and negative thoughts and things that we see and hear. We must be careful that we function with a sound mind, that we seek God, godly advice, self-control, and make good, sound judgment. If we don't, we will risk losing our mind because of all that's going on in this world. I also talk about the origin of fear. And again, Paul writes to Timothy and tells him, uh, God has not given us a spirit of fear. And it's understandable that we can sometimes be timid and uh, fearful. But we have to, again, realize the origin of fear. And I discussed this where it started in the Garden of Eden after Adam and Eve disobeyed God. So if you have not gotten this book, I encourage you, especially if you feel the call to the ministry of intercessory prayer. In these days in which we're living, it is so imperative that we stand in the gap for others, be courageous, bold, and pray fervently and consistently. Persist in prayer. As Paul says, pray without ceasing. So again, please, uh, we must have a mindset, a sound mind. And we cannot be timid and fearful because of all that we see and all that's going on in the world. So again, intercessors of sin, the mandate to partial for kingdom purpose. Get the book. It's available on all your online booksellers. And of course, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Walmart, any and all retail booksellers online, you can get the book, Intercessors of Sin. By yours truly, Queen Esther Phillips. God bless you.